Yeah. All right, Pen Track XC. We're here at Cheltenham High School with Chanel Brissett, who just made a very big decision uh, committing to the University of Southern California. Um, <laughs> so, um, Chanel, first, how, how nice is it to have this process all over with? It is great, honestly and truly. I did enjoy the process. I loved every bit of it, like the new people, the treatment. Um, I'm kind of sad that it's done, but <laughs> I'm excited too for a new chapter. Um, so when you started this process and you started getting calls and you started planning out your visits, what were some of the things that you were looking for in a school? Um, a balance with academics and athletics for one, great coaching, a great environment, um, a great background. Um, somewhere where I felt was home up away from home. Mm -hmm. And uh, when were you able to make your decision on USC? When did I make it? Yeah. Uh, sometime, like a week and a half ago, I was making my calls and I just weighed out the pros and the cons list and I just decided this is where I felt like I wanted to be, this is where I like the team, I felt the most focused there, I felt like I could have the most benefits after I leave here from this school, so I called and I made the choice. <laughs> um, now, uh, talk about your vi visit to USC and, and what you did and what you saw and uh, particularly what it was about it that, that caught your eye. Okay, so my visit. Um, most of the time we spent with the girls and the guys on the team and stuff. We went bowling, um, we went to the beach, um, we went to a carnival and I really felt like just getting the chance to like experience like team camaraderie and stuff like that was really fun. Like when we went to the walk, it wasn't like nothing special but we were just hanging out and it was just like innocent fun. Mm -hmm. And I like that. And um, the environment, because the beach was right there. Oh, I love nice weather. Uh, so that. Um, the team was really, really nice. Um, and they just seemed like they were just so focused on school, but they also had fun. And I like mm -hmm. that. Um, and do you feel like the coaching staff there and uh, the team uh, has, has have an environment that can help you become an even better Most sprinter definitely. hurdler? I honestly feel like that. They have the, pe the people and the staff to make me to, to go proud. So. Mm -hmm. so that is the ultimate goal for you, is to eventually be a, a professional? It's a goal, but it's not the ultimate goal, but mm -hmm. it's a goal. <laughs> yeah. Um, so obviously you had a, a very busy summer. We haven't yes. seen you in a while. Uh, and so talk about the experience of competing at the Olympic trials. Competing at the Olympic trials was such an amazing experience for me. Um, I got to meet the people. Uh, I love meeting people. <laughs> it was so fun though because it really made me develop myself. It made me see things different. It made me see people different. I got to see people like at their prime and I like that. For me it was fun. It was so eye-opening for me. So yeah. And after a long season like that and you were able to drop a, a 12.95 <laughs> And you know, seeing that on the board, uh, what uh, talk about the just the, the emotions of seeing it at a, a time like that? Um, I was so amazed. I first went into the race just thinking, like, you know, we're just gonna run this race because they convinced me to come here, and <laughs> I was just gonna try my best. Mm -hmm. And then when I saw the clock, I was just so amazed at what I could do, and that I realized that my hard work is right here. And talk about the maybe the motivation you had to go out there and, and run a really fast time after maybe some disappointments uh, along um, the way at World Junior Trials. Most likely, I think it's some prayers, my parents and my coach. Um, they really did push me so much to just succeed. And they were my confidence when I didn't really have it like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, indoors is right on the horizon here. Yep. Um, <laughs> what are your goals and expectations for this season? National champion. That's it. That's mm -hmm. it. Pure point blank. My relay, my hurdles, hopefully and whatever else I try to do this year, national champion. And, and you've already accomplished so much with the state records and everything like that, with individual and with the relay. Mm -hmm. So uh, what what more is there left for, for 2016? Well, hopefully I can own a one and a two hundred dash. Um, I kind of got away from those over the years. So hopefully I can come back and take a win in that one. All right. Chanel Brissett makes a big decision today going to USC. Congratulations, Chanel. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you.